Oh, wow. First time in a while. Monday workouts. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we did a little bit of a trade. A little preview of what's to come after, you know, we get this whole adventure going. Probably after this week. Probably. I don't know. So, let's go right ahead and go right back up to Route 111 and head on over to these two boulders. Now, you can only break these boulders once you get the Rock Smash technique and have defeated Watson of the Mauville Gym. Good thing we do have a Pokemon for that, so here we go, X-Boom. Let's go. And uh, normally you'd be finding some Pokemon or some rare item right there. Not, not every single time, but you know what I mean. So, here we are going into another route, and, well, let's see. We are going to be switching out our Pokemon. As you guys can see, I did put back the two traded Pokemon back into the PC, mainly because, well, we need to make sure that we're at the level 50 cap in order to actually, you know, kind of, you know, use them and all that stuff. We're at the level 30. Now, if you guys can see right here, here we got two interviewers where you can battle three times every single time. Once you complete this whole thing. And here she is, Gabby. Oh, we spotted a tough looking trainer here of all places. Okay, roll the camera. Let's get this interview. And here it is. We're battling the interviewers. And it looks like to me, Gabby and Ty are going to... Yeah, they're, they're, they're in for... Yes, they are in for a rude awakening right here. So... Let's go right ahead and use Sludge on this guy, and, well, let's go Rock Smash on this guy. So there we go. Sludge attack. Almost takes away Whisper, but it poisons it. And here comes Rock Smash. That is super effective, but it's not as powerful as what we think. And unfortunately, for Whisper right here, it's about to faint due to its poisoning. And, uh, well, let's see. There we go. Poisoning. There you go. And, well, let's go with the Sludge. And a Rock Smash right here. And a finish off Whismer. There we go. And, well, let's see. Come on, X-Boom. Use the Rock Smash. And that nearly defeats a Magnemite right there. So, here comes another Sonic Boom attack. And, well, let's go right ahead and use Pound since Poison does not affect Steel-type Pokemon right here. So, there we go. That doesn't really affect it. And here comes a Rock Smash for the win. Cannot believe its physical defense did not go down right there. And, well, there we go. Everybody's getting points. And Gabby and Ty, my ass didn't lie. I did discover an astonishing trainer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Who are you? I knew we were onto something wild when we spotted you. Oh, please, let me explain. We travel around everywhere interviewing all sorts of trainers. So, would you give us a bit of your time for an interview? Sure. And, well, let's go right ahead and describe this whole thing. Now, like I said, you guys can battle these guys every single time in three separate locations. And it, they go around like clockwork. Eventually, once you, once you defeat all the gym leaders, you can actually battle them in uh, full forms. Their Pokemon in their full forms and all that stuff. And then from there, they're going to be asking you... Uh, different kinds of like, okay, how did you feel about this battle right here? And for me, let's see, battle, let's see, let's just go with a challenge right here. Don't want to demean him in any way right here. And she's like, hmm, yeah, that's a perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that they'll air this on TV, so make sure to look out for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. Alrighty, so let us move on right here. And as always, yes, we are going to be speeding up our battles because... Well, we kind of need to. So, let's uh, not skip this. And here we have ourselves a picnicker. So, here we go. Battling the picnicker. And, and like her name is Picnicker Irene. And she's coming out with a shroomish. So, let's go with the wing attack. And there we go. Sea Blade grows to level 25. And she will be coming out with a Meryl. So, let's go with Sage of the Halo right here. Bullet Seed for the win. And just like that. Yes. And would you look at that. Seablade is finally evolving. Wow, I did say that we were going to get some new Pokemon right here. There we go. Seablade Digivolve 2. It's kind of like a Tokemon or whatever his name is. Patamon, yes. Oh, look at that. A Pelipper. 
big old Pelipper. Holy crud. And I think once it evolves, it starts learning Protect. Don't really know much. Take a look. Evades attack, but may fail if used in succession. So, yeah, if you constantly use this, it's not going to really work. I am not going to use it because, well, it's not really much of an attack that I would be using here. And here's another trainer. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Seablade the Pelipper. As you guys can tell, water and flying type. And its stats have increased just a little bit. You know, its HP, you know, its special attack is right there, right up there. Its, special, its physical defense pretty good too. Okay, let's go right ahead and battle. I'm full of pep. And my Pokemon is Peppy too. Did you nickname your Pokemon Peppy? I don't even know. Okay, here we have another Picnicker, or no, it's Camper, and he does have one Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use our newest Pokemon, and just like that, we win. See, Seablade's kicking some butt, taking some names right there. Alrighty, so, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here, and give some uh, love to Venom, because Venom does lead, need some love. And as you guys can see right here, there is a desert, and... Yeah, the sandstorm is vicious. It's impossible to keep going. There is a tower right there that will eventually disappear and reappear. And we're getting a phone call. And this is Dalton. Hear my new song. La la la. Whisper. Wh oh, wow. Am I really reading this? Okay, Dalton. I really don't need to talk to you. And... Huh. I wonder... Okay, so if they start calling you... Do your match calls start working? Huh. Let's see. Huh. Okay, never mind. We automatically give our phone numbers right there. So, here we are in Route 112, and we're going to continue on battling some people. I'm strong! I won't cry if I lose. Usually when they when they say that, uh, they still cry. So, here we go, Camper Larry wants to battle. Coming with his Nuzleaf, and we're going to be coming out with Venom, so perfect timing right there. Let's go with Amnesia, Sludge Attack, and there we go. Venom grows to level 23, and it's learning Encore, which I kind of don't want to do that. And just like that, he starts to cry. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. And she's going to be looking at us. When you're out on a picnic, why do you simply have to sing? Come on, sing with me. Mmm, I don't know. Okay, so here we go, taking on Picnicker Carol, and she is coming out with her tail right here. Venom, let's go. Alright. Sludge attack is the best attack that we have going right now. And let's go right here. Sludge attack yet again. And we have defeated Picnicker Carol. Yes. Okay, so another thing too, guys. I did say I was going to go up and capture myself another Pokemon that we need for our team. So let me go ahead and try and find this guy. I'll be right back with you in just a little bit. Okay, so here is the next Pokemon that we're going to be capturing, guys. Yes, it's Numel. Why Numel? Well, Numel is both a ground and fire type Pokemon. A very useful Pokemon for its ground capabilities. And I kind of want to use it for the next gym badge. And yes, we are going to be nicknaming it. Pretty cool nickname. Just as long as, let's see, do, oh wait, we don't have a timer ball? Seriously? Okay, well never mind. Let's go right ahead and use... Let's use an Ultra Ball right here. Alright, Ultra Ball, go. Numil, you shall be mine. That's right. Throwing out the peace sign. Okay, so there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a Numil. And let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. So, Numil, the numb Pokemon. A Numil stores boiling magma in its hump on its back. It is a hardy Pokemon that can transport 220 pound load. It has served humans at work since long ago. Hmm, really? Okay, so we're going to be nicknaming them as usual, kind of like in Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby. Everybody, say hello to, let's see if we can actually pronounce this right, Vesuvius. V. Oof. There we go, Vesuvius. That is named after the volcano that erupted and killed everybody right there. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Vesuvius. This guy, fire and ground type, naughty nature, cool, oblivious, it prevents attraction, which is cool. And, well, if you take a look at its stats, it's not really that great right now. It does hold, like every fire type Pokemon has a Rossberry holding on them. And it does have a nice moveset right here. So what we're going to do right now, let's see, 
who has the... Let's see. Yes, let's take away the experience share from Seablade. And let's go ahead and give that to our buddy Vesuvius in exchange for that Rawus Berry. So, there you go, the Ross Berry. And let's give it a Super Potion just in case, you know. Oh yeah, and don't forget Venom too, yeah. Always heal up your Pokemon, guys. Yes. Oh yeah, and don't forget X-Boom too, yeah. Yeah, X-Boom needs... <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and move along right here. I do feel as though that there is a... Uh, yeah, there's two battles right here. And unfortunately right now we can't really use Vesuvius because... Yeah, this guy has Rock-type Pokemon. So we're going to be using Sage of the Halo. Talk to this guy. <laughs> How about we battle? You and me. <laughs> yes, I did not read that correctly. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Hiker Brace. And here comes a Numel. Wow. Did not expect that. Okay, so let's go ahead and speed this up. And quick attack. Quick attack for the win. And here comes a Machop. So let's go straight to Seablade right here. And let's go for the wing attack. And Bryce has been defeated. Yes. Okay, now if you guys can see right here, there's a gate. There are two Team Magma members looking around. And he's like, hey man, is a leader really going to awaken that thing? Sounds like it, yeah, but I heard we need a meteorite to do it. Hmm. Oh, I get it now. That's why the rest of the crew went out to Fall Harbor. You got it. And until they come back, we're not to let anyone pass, right? Wow, okay, so... Way to just spoil it for your teammates and stuff. Anywho, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. My legs are solid from pounding up and down the mountains. They're not going to buckle easily, friend. Oh, wow. Somebody didn't miss leg day, I'll tell you that right now. Okay. So, here we go, taking on Hiker Trent. He will be coming out with his wrong type Pokemon, so let's go ahead and speed this up. Bullet Seed, there you go. Coming out again with a Bullet Seed. And, yes, Bullet Seed Palooza. And just like that, we have defeated... Tiger Trent. He is not happy. Alrighty, and of course, he's going to be letting us know about a few things, and yes, he will be registering himself to the Pokenab right here. Alrighty, so coming in here, we're going to be going inside the Fiery Path. As many of you guys already know, there are quite a few Pokemon that you can capture in this, in this, uh, in this general area. I'm going to be using a Repel because I kind of don't want to capture anything right now. One of these Pokemon you can find is Torkoal. Or Raphael in our books. Yes, like in the old uh, Emerald version walkthrough. And uh, very useful Pokemon and all that stuff. But uh, off screen, I will be capturing these Pokemon. And look at that, double battle. I kind of need to get away from this. Okay, so we need to do a double battle. Uh, you know what, let's switch it out. Let's go with Venom right here. And let's see. Let's have them both face each other. God dang it! Okay, never mind. All right, we're gonna be battling it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see. So here we go. Kindler Bryant wants to come out with his Numel, and we're gonna be speeding it up. Quick attack. There you go. Vesuvius grows to level 17. Let's go with Venom, and here we have a Slugma, and Slugma looks like a slug. And well, Bryant has been defeated. Yes, it was a bumpy ride. Okay, so let's go ahead and take on her. And yeah, she is calling us adorable. Thank you. Somebody notices us. Okay. Here we go. Taking on Aroma Lady Shayla. And, well, as always, coming out with her usual grass type Pokemon. And you know what? Let's continue with this. Yes. Sage grows to level 29 and is learning Leaf Blade. So I'm going to take away Bullet Seed now. And there we go. We have defeated Shayla. Even though she acknowledges us. Kind of like Roman Reigns. Okay, so let's go right ahead and grab these berries right here. It's never too bad to hold berries. And speaking of berries, there's been a, there's been a few things that I've been reading up on with Pokemon Emerald. Uh, especially going into the Battle Frontier. Many of you guys have been letting me know that, you know, maybe I should try the Battle Frontier. Just, you know, try my luck. Redeem myself and all that crud. And I've been reading up on it. Apparently berries help out with uh, EVs, IVs, whatever they are, and well, let's see. I'm, I'm kind of, kind of thinking about it, guys. I really am thinking about it, and uh, I don't know. We will find out as soon as we are done with the both emerald and fire red. But right now we're taking on this guy. Show me how much you toughen up your Pokemon. Oh, I'll show you. Okay, but you won't like it. 
Here we go, taking on Cool Trainer, and he is gonna be coming out with his Electric, so let's switch it up. Sludge Attack, King of Paralysis here, and and here comes a Makuhita. We keep on poisoning these guys right here, and Vesuvius grows to level 18. So let's go ahead and switch out. This is the first Whalemer we're gonna be seeing, and here comes Leaf Blade, and just like that, Wilton has been defeated. And because of this battle, of course, he's going to be telling us that, you know, we've learned from different training styles, and bam, he will give us his Pokenab. Nice. Okay, so, let's see. Let's see. We got paralyzed. And, yeah, it's a good thing that we, you know, heal up on par paralysis heals and all that stuff. All right, let's move on. Let's see. Okay, so as you guys can see, this guy right here is looking at, or he's examining a tree, and he's going to be like, what? Are, what's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using Pokemon Move. I know. I'll give you this TM. Will you use it to make your own room? Sure. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves the TM43. Find a big tree that looks like it might drop some vines. Use secret power in front of the tree. Some vines should get free and drop down and uh, climb the tree. You'll find a lot of space for putting your favorite things. It'll be your own secret room, a secret base. You should make one too. Another thing, you don't always have to make your secret base in a tree. Try using a secret power on rock walls that have small indents in them. I'm going to look for other places too. Okay, bye. You know the funny thing is too, guys? We, we just made a trade, okay? We made a trade in the last episode. And because of that, yeah, we swapped... Officially, we swapped uh, records and all that stuff. Now, later on when we have to actually, you know, when we actually have to train up for the Elite Four and all that crud, yes, I will be swapping records again for both my Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire walkthroughs in their different uh, secret bases. That way I can train up against some very powerful Pokemon and actually complete some, uh, you know, put some uh, Pokemon in my uh, in my witch, I'm gonna call it my records too, in my Pokedex, because we all we, we need to complete this Pokedex and all that. Anywho, let's go ahead and cut this. And bam, Zigzagoon, looking pretty good. This right here, you can talk to this lady, and she will actually heal up your Pokemon for free. So there we go, we're gonna be healing up. Bam. What a do, what a do. Okay, so we are healed up, and well, let's go right ahead. And move all along right here. Let's go with this bike and bam. So here's the indent that she has been talking about. You'll find them in different areas over here in Hoenn. You can actually make different kinds of uh, what you call it, uh, secret bases. I don't know which which place I'm going to be uh, using my secret base for, but eventually, you know, you guys will find out soon. So let's go with Sea Blade right here, and here it is. To train myself, I challenge all who I meet! Oh. Okay, so, here we go, taking on Black Belt Diosuke. And he's coming out with his Machop right here. So let's go, Z-Blade. And let's, let's speed it up right here. And Daisuke has been defeated. Okay, so that right there is done. And I think, yes, you go down here. We're gonna be in the desert, but we can't go any further because we don't have uh, the go go gozzles. So, let's go right ahead, move on ahead right here, and let's see. Talk to this girl right here. She's gonna be like, I water the plants every day. They grow lots of flowers, and they give me lots of berries too. Here you go, you can have it. And here we have a raspberry. A raspberry. And, well, let's go right ahead and take out these berries too. Now, remember, every single day you can actually get a berry from this girl, so. Keep an eye out for that. And Raspberry. So like I was saying, Pokemon Frontier, the Boy Battle Frontier, yes, ber uh, berries actually, yeah, they actually help out in IV EV training and all that stuff. You gotta look, uh, and I'm still looking more into that stuff, so we'll find out right here. And there we go, two Orin berries have been taken, and you know what, let's go ahead and give a little bit of love into X-Boom right here. Hasn't been getting any love. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead. Oh, your Pokemon looks serious actors. I have to ask for your for an engagement. For an engagement. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Cool Trainer Brooke, and she is coming out with her Wingle. So let's go ahead and speed it up. 
uproar always our strongest attack and just like that we grow to level 23 and we're learning super uh, supersonic right here so let's go ahead and take away Hal and go supersonic let's continue on uproar and there we go why hasn't sound Pokemon been made I don't know and Vesuvius has grown to level 19 which of course it learns magna or magnitude uh, magnitude and all that stuff alrighty okay Alrighty, so we got another phone number. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the healing lady, heal up my Pokemon, because the next place, yeah, it's gonna get a little rough, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, bad guys, and the next area right here is Route 113. Definitely put on some uh, repels if you don't want to be attacked by any of the Pokemon right here. But if you guys remember, in my original Pokemon Emerald Wong through, we have... We managed to capture ourselves a Skarmory in this location. Spinda is also a notorious Pokemon from this area. And uh, it's fun walking through the Volcano's Ashes on the ground and grass. You can see where you walked. It's really neat. It really is. And, well, let's see. Uh, yeah, X-Boom. You know what? We need more love for X-Boom. Let's go ahead and take this guy on. You can guess why it's so cool around here. Probably because it's dusty. I don't know. Let's go. Youngster Jalen wants the battle coming out with his trampage and this is another Pokemon that I wanted to use But decided against it because of the the current trade and all that crud So yeah, and well, let's see. I don't know what these spots are And yes, we have found ourselves an ether. That's usually a good thing right there And there's a double battle lurking right there. So let's go right ahead And use our newest Pokemon Vesuvius and since we got Magnitude on there, we need a flying type for that combo. So here we go, take it on this guy. Were you maybe in the middle of gathering volcano ga volcanic ashes? Uh-oh. Thanks for finding me, but we still have to battle. Uh, God, these people. Okay, so here we go, guys, taking on Camper and or Camper Lawrence and Ninja Lung. Let's go right ahead and speed this up and go for the water gun. And unfortunately, we can't use Magnitude on either one of these guys. And let's see. Water Gun, Ember. Yes. And Water Gun, Ember. There we go. And here comes a Ninjask. And another Ember attack. And just like that, we defeated Ninjask. And Vesuvius grows to level 20. Yes. Okay, alrighty. So we have defeated Vesuvius and all that crud. Or no, not just Vesuvius, but... Here comes another person getting at us, and he's like, You want to battle me? Even though I just caught my Pokemon. I mean, you came towards me. I don't know about that, but let's go right ahead and battle anyways. So here we go, taking on Pokemaniac Wyatt, and he is coming out with his Aron. Aron. And here comes Seablade. Let's go ahead and speed this Water Gun for the win. And there we go. And yes, it's two Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, so now you want to say a word to the loser. Aren't you just the coolest? <laughs> wow, so negative. So negative. And yes, we're getting another phone call. Oh my god, okay. Yes, cool. And, well, we're going to be going right here. And we're going to find ourselves a super repel. You're definitely going to need one of those guys because... Yeah, some of these Pokemon are... Yeah. Now, here we found ourselves a nugget. It's always nice to have for extra monies and all that crud. And our repel has gone away, so let's go ahead and use that. Another repel. And let's move on forward right here. And we're going to be taking on another lady. So let's see what Vesuvius can do by itself now that it's actually at level 20. And I use a parasol to ward off this filthy, yucky volcano ash, volcanic ash from my dear Numel. Oh. Well. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, <laughs> isn't Numel kind of like a volcano? Or a built-in volcano? I don't even know. So here we go, Vesuvius versus a vol... Well, it's counterpart right here. And there we go, we have defeated Madeline. Oh my crud. She doesn't make any sense. And of course, she's gonna be giving us some, uh, some tips and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and battle some more trainers. And uh, let's see, both of us are we collect ashes. We battle Pokemon too. Okay, bring it on. So here we go, taking on twins Tori and Tia. And they're coming out with Spindas right here. As you guys can see, they're not all the same with the spots and all that crud. Apparently there's a big old combination of those uh, the Spindas. 
And, well, let's go with a wing attack. And there we go. Magnitude 10 on both. Wow. That's the first time that's ever happened. Magnitude 10. How lucky am I? Comment down below on how many times you guys got magnitude 10. That was the first time for me, believe it or not. Okay, so there we go. Max Ether. And, well, let's see. Talk to this gentleman. <laughs> Today's technology is a wondrous thing. Take this volcanic ash here. It can be uh, fashioned into glass. It is. It can. All right, so let's go in here. If you talk to this individual, he's going to be like, this area is covered in a in a volcanic ash. Huff puff. I'm specially gifted. Huff puff. I make glass out of volcanic ash and make items. Huff puff. <coughs> Excuse me. Go collect ashes with this. Huff puff. And here we found ourselves a suit sack. And just take uh, the suit sack and walk through the piles of ash, Huff Puff, and it will be fill up with the volcanic ash. Once you think you've collected a good amount, come see me, Huff Puff. And of course, these guys will make uh, flutes, different kinds of flutes for you. I think there's a yellow, a blue, a red flute. Each one of them actually, uh, each one of them covers uh, a kind of a stat, a stat ailment or something like that. So here we go, taking on. Ninja Boy Lao, and yes, he's coming out with three Pokemon. So, Ember Attack. Holy crud, Vesuvius is kicking some butt right here. Let's go with Venom. Venom, Pound Attack. Yeah, physical defense is not going to be good. So let's go with X Boom, and because of that, it exploded. And, well, actually, let's go right ahead and use a Super Potion. And yes, we are poisoned. So here comes the Uproar, and just like that, we have defeated Lao. He admits defeat. Okay, so yes, of course. He's gonna give us his Pokenab, and bam. We get another phone number right there. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon yet again, because, well, you know, status uh, effects. It's always gonna happen to us. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. And let's see. Here we found ourselves the TM32 double team. And, well, let's see. Another repel doesn't hurt. Let's see, let's see. There we go. And, well, let's go right ahead and start battling yet again. The volcano's eruption is proof that the Earth is alive. Yet, um, think. Okay, so, here we are taking on Dylan. And he will be coming out with his Auron. And the messed up part about Auron is it's not a pure steel type Pokemon. Megan is susceptible to ground type moves right here when it comes to its rock typing. Now, even if it's a rock type, steel type takes an effect and then boom, electricity hits it. That's kind of a weird thing. And, well, there we go. Defeated him. Yes, we are strong. We are mighty. Okay, so I think we have like two more trainers. Yes, we're going to try and time this right here. And bam. Here we go. The warmth here is making me drowsy. Battle with me so I can stay awake. Uh-oh. With these wings, I can flick you away. Huh. Okay, so here we go. We're going to be taking on the Picnicker and the bird, Nick, uh, the bird Keeper, I think. And look at this. He's coming out with a Skarmory. This Pokemon is a little scary. And, well, let's go right ahead and be scary ourselves with a wing attack on this guy. And, well, actually, actually, I met, met, messed up right here. So here we go. Amber attack yet again. And wing attack for you. Here comes an agility. And here we go. Wing attack for the win. Say goodbye to Meryl. And, well, there we go. Look at that. And, well, let's see. Got a Lombre coming in. But guess what? Vesuvius coming in with an Ember attack. You gotta love those pure steel type Pokemon right here. Look at that. Bam. Skarmory, you have been defeated. And, well, let's speed it up just a tad bit right here. Of course, we can't use Magnitude right now. So, let's see. Let's go with a fried chicken right here. And, let's see. This will work, but this will work even better. And just like that, Vesuvius grows to level 23. And, yes. The dream is over. Okay, righty. So let's move on. And finally, we are here in Fall Arbor Town. So what is going to happen, guys, in the next episode is... I see a battle tent right there. I kind of want to use it. 
I don't know, I'm probably going to do a little preview of it before I go in there and actually decide. But yes, we got a lot of stuff to do here in Fall Arbor Town going into the Meteor Falls. Stay tuned, it's going to get a little fun. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, there's a heart button right there. Make sure to, uh, you know, throw in a small donation. Anything will help. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode as we go through Fall Arbor Town. See you guys.